Games with Love My Putts, My British Supply. We're coming down to the final wire here. We're fixing a tick off intensity gene. I'm probably going to do one, but actually I'm going to do a bonus video. So there's going to actually be a 13th one in this series. Um, and that's going to be to do with things like tan points and how those things interact. Because I really didn't talk about that that well. Um, so I want to talk about a, the A locus in terms of these other colors and just generally talk about the whole thing. But let's talk about the intensity genes. This is a relatively new one that, that, that they've discovered. And I, I think uh, animal genetics does not have, I know they don't have an intensity gene test. Embark and VetGen uh, and UC Davis, I think all three of those do have the intensity gene test. If you get an intensity gene, you're either going to be I, big I, little n, that's no intensity because it's a recessive gene, or your little i, little i, n, that is, the, that is the gene that we want. That's the intensity gene. So this is a modifier gene. It's kind of like the dilution gene where it modifies other colors. And it specifically modifies cream. Um, now, um, I'm actually getting some test done on some of my dogs because I think that they could very likely carry the intensity gene. And I will know more about this as time goes on. So everything, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit in uncharted waters for me. So, um, but for the best of my knowledge, this works on dogs that are cream. I don't think it's, it's certainly not gonna make any difference on dogs that are chocolate or blue. It's not gonna affect those dogs, but it definitely is gonna affect dogs that are cream. And what it does, is if the intensity gene is present, and that means that it's little i n, little i n, and you put that with a cream dog, it modifies the color of the cream and it makes it much, much lighter, can go all the way to white. Cream is a funny gene. Cream, number one, it's funny because it covers everything up, but it's, it comes in a wide range of colors, all the way from an apricot color, all the way through to, if the intensity gene is present, white. So white Frenchies, Typically, if you see a white Frenchie, you immediately think, hey, that's actually an extreme pied. But you can get a Frenchie that is really white. Uh, and to get that, you're going to have to have two copies of cream and two copies of intensity. So I suspect that a single copy of intensity does make a difference to the way the cream shows up. And I think the most likely place that you see this is on tan-pointed dogs. You will see some tan-pointed dogs. Those dogs, by the way, are either AT, AT, or their ATA. And if you remember when we talked about the A locus, the reason why an ATA shows tan points is because this A gene gets trumped by the AT gene. It doesn't, the A gene doesn't express itself. If you've got a dog that's AA, that's a solid color. If you've got a dog, dog that's AT, AT, it's got tan points. And if you get a dog that is ATA, it's also got tan points, but it tends to be not as clear, more of an orangey color. You take this dog right here, and you add the intensity, you add cream to it, you get one copy of cream on this dog, and the tan points really start to look really white. And I suspect that in a lot of those cases, we've got a dog that's little i, little i, intensity. And I think that that really makes the cream and the tan points pop. So I think the value of the intensity gene is probably in dogs that are either creams or tan pointed dogs. And I don't think, it's going to show, it's certainly not going to show up on chocolate dogs. It's not going to make a difference on, on, the, on the color of the blues, the color of the chocolates, the color of the cocos, and I suspect not the color of fawns. But I might be wrong on that last part about the fawns. Okay, so there's the intensity gene. And that now rings us out with 12 out of 12. But we are going to do one more video after this where we're going to start talking about things like tan points and blue and tans, black and tans, chocolate and tans, lilac and tans, and, and how those dogs come about and how you get them. So there's one extra video on the end of this for those of you who have stuck with me for the entire, I don't know how many hours this is, a couple hours worth of me rambling away. Um, anyway, I appreciate you watching. Last one coming up. Bye, everybody.